Hi. Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss, how to prepare for, Certified Information Security Manager. Why to go for CISM? The demand for skilled information security management professionals, is on the rise and thus, the CISM certification is ubiquitous. Moreover, they know how to manage, and adapt technology to their enterprise and industry. Follow the points below to support the statement. Firstly, it demonstrates your understanding of the relationship between an information security program, and broader business goals and objectives. Moreover, it distinguishes you as having not only information security expertise, but also knowledge in the development of an information security program. Further, it puts you in an elite peer network. Above all, it is considered essential to ongoing education, career progression and value delivery to enterprises, why employers seek SISMs. Nowadays, the employers at enterprises, and the government agencies are behind SISMs. Therefore, they expect their existing professionals to hold the, SISM certification. Reasons to same are given below. Firstly, it identifies the critical issues, and customize the practices that are specific to the company. Moreover, it brings credibility to the organization, as you can support and govern the information security. Further, it demonstrates to the customers about the company's commitment to security, and integrity. Then, it contributes to compliance issues, and attract customers and retain existing customers as well. Above all, it enhances the organization's security program, and related objectives. The exam details for, CISM is given in the table below. Prerequisites for the exam. CISM certification involves first, experienced information security managers. Second, aspiring information security managers. Third, IT consultant. Fourth, chief information officer. Course outline. Information security governance, 24%. Domain 1 states the expertise to establish, and maintain an information security governance framework. Moreover, it confirms your ability to develop, and oversee an information security governance framework, managing information risk, 30%. Domain 2 denotes advanced ability to manage information risk, to an acceptable level, facilitating the attainment of organizational goals. Further, it demonstrates expertise in classifying information assets, developing, and managing an information security program, 27%. Domain 3 creates ability to develop, and maintain an information security program that identifies, manages and protects the organization's assets. In addition, it attests to ability to ensure the information security program adds, value while supporting operational objectives of business. Information security incident management, 19%. Domain 4 upholds capacity to plan, establish, and recovery from information security incidents to minimize business impact. Moreover, it builds your skills in accurately classifying, and categorizing information security incidents, and developing plans. Schedule the exam. All you need is follow the steps below. Firstly, it is important to verify there is a test site available before, you register and pay for your exam. After that, search by location and date to take your exam as planned. Moreover, once you verify that there is a testing site available where, and when you need it, you can register for your exam. Further, you can pay for your exam at the same time you register, or you can pay later. Note, payment is required before you schedule your exam. Lastly, now that you have insured site availability, registered and paid. Recertification of the exam. Once you have passed the SISM exam, it is important that you maintain an adequate level of skill, and proficiency. In order to retain the certification, SISMs must comply with the following requirements. Firstly, complete and document a minimum of 20 CPE hours within an appropriate, and relevant SISM environment. Secondly, submit your annual CPE maintenance fees in full to ISACA International Headquarters. Thirdly, complete and document a minimum, of 120 CPE hours over a three-year reporting period. Fourthly, provide required documentation of CPE activities if audited. However, this can happen if a SISM is randomly selected to provide written evidence, of previously reported CPE activities. Fifthly, comply with ISICA's Code of Professional Ethics. Sixth, support and comply with all appropriate governance, and management standards related to information systems and technology. After that, perform duties objectively, with diligence and care. Further, lawfully serve the interests of stakeholders, and maintain a high degree of personal conduct and character. After that, 
protect the privacy of any information, and do not use it for personal benefit or gain. Above all, approach all undertakings with a realistic sense of completion, preparing for the exam. First, create a steady plan. Second, read the Isica's exam, candidate information guide. Third, join the SISM exam, study community. Fourth, have an exam day preparation plan. Fifth, take practice exams from the expert's desk. In conclusion there is a lot for SISM candidates to complete, before they can attain certification. However, it is well worth the effort in the end of SISM certifications, are in high demand. Further, achieving this certification is a career-changing milestone that, will elevate your professional standing within the organization. SISM certification provides you better earnings, and better understanding of security systems management within an organization. If you are determined enough to appear for SISM exam, then test prep training is what you need with you. Further, test prep training provides both free, and paid practice tests to boost confidence. For more such videos, subscribe our channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates. Also visit our website, 